Hey, what's going on everybody? Before we pull the Chevelle in, um, I want to enclose part of my carport here and uh, we're going to use the uh, the roofing metal from over there on the blue store, but it's uh, super, super shiny. And uh, you know, we, we want the nostalgia, old school, rustic look, you know? So if you guys are doing like your uh, shop or man cave or game room or she shed and yeah you, uh, you like that you know that that old you know rusty metal look on the on the ceiling or the walls or the you know like a wainscot and i use the uh like old the cedar planks from the old cedar fence it's all weathered and uh looks like an old barn it looks pretty cool so uh um i'll drop some pictures in of uh, what that looks like and uh, it's a pretty cool look So let's get busy, get this done, so we get the Chevelle pulled in and uh, get to work on her. All right, I used muriatic acid initially for my first uh, application. Uh, you can get it at any hardware store, whatever. Be real careful with this stuff because it's it's pretty toxic and it will burn your skin. And you don't definitely don't want to breathe in the fumes. So you know, wear a re respirator, a mask, a face shield, long sleeves, gloves. And uh, if you do get it on your skin, just wash it off with water and it's it's, it's good. So just pour this into just a crappy uh, spray bottle. All right, initially I just uh, spritz it all down. Make sure you're upwind. <laughs> This takes the shut just dulls that shine off. You don't want to concentrate it on any place. Whoops. Instant dull. Of course, right when I start spraying it, the wind dies. Just missed it on there. That'll take the shine right off, but it will leave the galvanized on there. All right, I did one coat on here. You just kind of on the on the spritz mode, and you can see it's already toned it down a little bit. And uh, where it was running down the channels, you could see if you concentrate it, it will take the uh, galvanized right off. And if that's that's where you want your rust, and so that's the effect you want. So if you kind of concentrate on one area, you can see it take the galvanize right off. So uh, you can mess with it to uh, get the dark or you know how tarnished you want it so you know we just do a couple oops i like the uh the adjustable where you can make it a jet spray you can see it um, look at my shadow there where it eats it off right there we'll do do a little bit right there And that just takes it right on off. You just play with it for the look you want. There we go. Like I say, it's just for a wall and I'm gonna have some shelves and stuff up. So we just kind of tone it down a little bit. 
I like doing it in the sun with the sun on there. Seems like the heat on there really uh, helps. You can see that smoke and you don't want to breathe that in. Hey, you can see it take that galvanized completely off. And wherever that, and then when it runs down these little channels, it usually, uh, that's why I do it at an angle because it'll run down and then it will definitely uh, remove the galvanized from right there. So hopefully that will uh, rust up. So we let that bake on there a little bit and uh, I think that's pretty good. And now we'll go with uh, step two. I just used the uh, hydrogen peroxide that you get at the uh, grocery store or you know, at the pill store. And uh, I think they're like, shoot, 99 cents a bottle. So, you know, it's cheap. So yeah, just pour that into uh, another spray bottle. Run off a little bit. The sun's kind of baked it a little bit. Let's look at that. Wherever the galvanize ate off, She's gonna rust right there. Just let it, just load it on there. And let it run down. the sun and just let spread on there with the bake on simple as that the other one. You don't want to rinse the acid off before you put this on. Just let it, the sun bake it on there and dry it. Like I said, don't breathe this in. I mean, Stuff's nasty. Yeah, just hit that whole thing and then let that bake on for a little bit. What the hell is that? It's a drone. Man, that was freaking me out. That sounded like a big old bumblebee. All right, I've uh, been sitting in the sun for about 15 minutes. And you can see where this kind of foamed up right here. Um, you don't want that. So you want to... Hit that really hard so it runs out. Because it, it doesn't rust right there where that foam is. So... You want to shoot that foam off and uh, let it run down. I think I'm right here. And that's the leftover acid coming up. But you don't you don't want that foam sitting there in that spot. You want to hit it so it clears up and then runs down. So uh, let me fill up the bottle and uh, we'll go, we'll put a second coat on here. Where it's starting to dry, 
Now, if that's if that's just the effect you want, I mean, over like a week, if you, uh, it'll kind of tone down a little bit, get a little darker. Um, it'll kind of weather on its own. But um, if you hit it again, you know, it, it'll get a little darker. So, see how that darkens up right there on the second coat? I think we'll just go with two. See, like right there I'm spraying and it's not doing nothing. You need that acid on there to react with it. So don't you can't wash that off or but if you took that galvanize off and just let it set out in the weather for a couple weeks, you know, it's gonna rust up on its own. But you know, you now with this you have instant instant gratification on the uh, on the look you want. So uh, we'll just hit it twice. And then once you get the effect you want, then you then you could totally rinse it off with water and uh, and let it dry. But uh I think we're gonna call this good. We'll get the hose out and uh, rinse that off and let it dry and do a couple more. I think you gotta do about 10 pieces and we can uh, screw it up on there. I already got the frame on and then uh, we get busy on the car. Oh, I like this one, that one turned out nice. No two, pan no two panels are the same. Uh, I, I made for the inside. And it's been sitting out here for outside for a couple, uh, for about a month. But um, but you can see it's really rust comes back, comes up there and weathers naturally. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. All right. Once it's uh, good. Once it's good, just spray her down. Get all that acid off there, all that other stuff. All right, we'll let it bake in the sun a little bit, dry, and then we'll uh, put a couple more pieces up here and, and get it knocked out. You say you can play with it. You can get heavier in one area. You know, get yourself a couple sample pieces and get your, uh, you know, your procedures done on how you want it to look. And then uh, just get creative. All right, this is like 24 hours old. And there's a little crust on there. And if you don't, you know, wipe it down initially, uh, you can see some of the bare metal will shine through. Just lightly go over it, depending what what look you want. You know, that dark right there in a couple weeks will do its thing. But uh, if you just lightly wipe over it, it gets that little shiny stuff off there. And like I said, you can uh, go for the look that you want. And uh, that piece is two days old. So you can see how much darker it's already getting. But uh, you experiment with it and see what kind of look you want. Yeah, I know we were expecting a Chevelle video, but I had to get this, this carport put in. Uh, the uh, storms are coming in, springtime's coming in, and last year, you know, rain come just screaming in here, got everything all wet. So I figured I better just knock it out real quick. Yeah, I think it turned out all right. Uh, like I said, it could be a little darker, but you know, it, over time, it'll, it'll, it'll patina a little bit more. So I wasn't gonna do this video, but Gina said, go ahead and and make it because um, someone else might want to, you know, decorate their their garage or their shop or you know what have you. So uh, we're gonna throw it out there and then uh, we're gonna get right on the Chevelle now, pull it in here and uh, start working on getting that 454 gone through and uh, start hitting it hard. So um, consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, we got a lot coming in this summer. You know, a lot of cool stuff. Um, couple three more vehicles that we haven't even touched on yet and uh there might even be a um 
couple new ones that uh, I've been working on for a while. So anyways, uh, tell, me, tell me what you think. Yeah, we're, I think we're gonna put a shelf up here on the top and then we can put like, uh, you know, some parts up there like grills and fenders and stuff like that. You know, keep them up off the ground and keep them, um, you know, dry. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.